I feel this. Oh my god, that's pretty funny. My name is Daniel Martin, I'm a Perth based photographer, and this is the vlog with Jill Pixel. Crack a jack. Yes. You got it, boys. <laughs> So I've been shooting film for about seven years now, um, most recently working on two bodies of work titled No Dice and Ivory Tower. And today, hopefully find some industrial landscapes around the Jundana area. So today we're gonna to be shooting on the Bronica SQA. It's a six by six medium format camera and the film we're gonna be using is Portra 160. All these couples and their babies on the blue umbrella. So I've had this shot in mind for about three weeks since I moved into the area. I kind of really want to get that antenna dish like dead center with that lovely old Daihatsu just, just underneath it. So I think a lot of my shots lend towards themselves being dead in the center, the subject rather. So pre-meter it for F8, shooting at 100. So see how we go. Jack, yeah. we got it, boys. <laughs> yeah, that's a shot. Just looking at uh, this, this pile of rubbish on the verge here, which is pretty typical for me, but I don't know, I also love that massive, I think it's a frangipani in the background and those sort of flags in between them, so I'm gonna go ahead and meter it and uh, see how it turns out. Probably gonna shoot, mm, I'll meet it for the shadows at F5.6 probably. Yeah, 5.6 in the shadows. All right. There we go. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Yeah, I reckon this one. So I got like the red brick in the background of the of the brown brick. <laughs> I think that red and the green of the peppermint trees would be nice as well. The red on the sign, so I don't know, let's frame it up. Now I reckon I reckon this angle, because you got like the blue asbestos and it's kind of the same colour as the sky, so I'm liking it. It's tying itself together. It's doing all the work for me. Probably gonna go maybe five, six. Yeah. All right. Perfect. I use the spot meter instead of the incident meter. Um, so what I could do is use the incident meter and stand over near the sign and then click it like this, but I like to use the spot because you can sort of measure the light reflecting off things instead of the light going onto things. Might do F8 500 and then 250th as well, just so I can cover my bases. This one. Yeah, but I like um, this one's slightly different angle. Put that big radio tower in the background. There we go. This one square is going to be interesting because you know you got like 
the road in the bottom third, you got the pavement, you got your boxes dead centre, and then you got a little bit of the sky in the top, which I think looks really nice. Right on that corner. With that little overgrown car park in there as well. There we go. Alright, that's a wrap. Um, today we got some pretty nice sort of suburban industrial shots around the Jundana area, which was really what I was hoping to get out of today. You know, I moved into the area about three weeks ago and uh, been itching to take some photos ever since. So, you know, hopefully they turn out all right. Uh, church one, I really want to see that church one. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Easy, bud. Till next time. The ocean or the trees. <laughs>